Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to solve a system of equations uh, with a technique called the substitution method. Um, before we start, we're going to uh, review a couple, um, a couple of definitions on systems of equation. Uh, and one of them is, what is a system of equations? Well, a system of equation is a set of two related equations. So if we have a graph and we have a uh, what we call a system of equations, notice the set, see our bracket here, um, of two related equations. That means these two linear equations are related. And when we say related, it graphically speaking, that we can uh, graph them on one, uh, one axis here. So here are these two lines um, graphically represented. And when we start talking about solving a system, well, what a solution to a system is, it's an ordered pair, a point, that will solve both equations. Each equation is made up of an infinite amount of points, but there is only one point that is on both of these lines, and is the only point that can solve, or sometimes we say satisfy, both equations. And that point, understand it is the point that is on both lines, happens to be at the intersection of the two lines. So graphically speaking, it's this point where these two lines intersect. And in this case here, we see 2, negative 3. If we plug that into both of these equations, we would find that that x is 2 and y is negative 3 would satisfy both equations. Therefore, it is the solution to the system. And please understand that that is the only point that can possibly reside on both of these lines. Uh, previously, we talked about solving a system by graphing. So if I had this system here, for example, and I graphed it, and we would say, well, what's the solution? Well, the solution is easy. It's this point of intersection. But when we say that's the point of intersection, what is the x and y? Notice that it doesn't look like it's on one of these intersections of these lines, and sometimes we call these integer points because um, they're really nice clean integers and when it's not on an integer point or we didn't graph so well with um, uh, and, which is pretty common um, we don't know what this is exactly you probably wouldn't by graphing realize that the solution is this so we have to have other ways to more certainly find out or more accurately find out the solution one of those is the substitution method so substitution method is a pure algebraic method that um, requires a couple of steps, actually specifically four steps. So I'm going to go through these steps pretty quickly, but feel free to go back and check the steps um, if you need more clarification. So our first step is to isolate one of the variables, either x or y, from either equation. So we have two, we'll have two equations in a system, call them equation one and equation two, and you can get either x or y alone from either of the equations. That's our first step, is just to isolate a variable. Our second step is, once we have isolated the variable, we are going to substitute the expression that we got in uh, step one into the other equation. In other words, if we got something like y equals 2x plus 1, and we've isolated y, then this 2x plus 1 becomes y. In other words, we're saying y is this. In any place we see y in another equation, we can just plug that right in. That's what it means to substitute. Once we've substituted into the equation, we then solve a new equation, and this new equation will have just one variable. So our third step will be to solve the new equation for the lone variable. Our last step is, after we've solved for the, the, the variable from step 3, we are going to use that value and plug it into the other equation to solve for the other variable. I know it sounds complicated now, uh, now but we'll see after a couple examples what this means. Basically what we've done is, in solving in steps 3 and 4, we solve for one variable, say we solve for x, for example, and the other variable, uh, 4, we solve for y. Those two, x and y, represent the ordered pair x and y that is the solution to the system. 
Now to make it a little bit easier for you to use these four steps, I'm going to pick out the important words, isolate, substitute, solve, and solve. And that's what we're going to uh, really concentrate on each one of these steps. Our first step is to isolate. Our second step is to actually substitute, or sometimes we say this is where we plug in. And then we solve for one variable, solve for the other. So let's just see how that works. Okay, so our first equation says solve the system, and here's our system. Here are our four steps. And if you'd like to try um, on your own right now, go ahead and pause and try. If not, go along with me and solve it. Please put your work in a box eight. We'll, I'll do four problems with you, and uh, you'll do the last four problems on your own. Okay, so for our first problem, we're just going to follow the steps. We're going to isolate one of the variables. Now, as I look in here and I see all these, I notice something y is already alone. In other words, on this equation here, it's already isolated. I have y alone on one side of the equation and 2x minus 1 on the other. So our first step is already done for us. Check. Oh, and I forgot to mention, remember, our, uh, our solution is going to be a point. So always remember that. You might even want to put that down at the bottom is our solution is going to be a point, an x and y value. So like I said, our first uh, step is already done. We've isolated one of the variables, y. Now we're going to substitute. Substitute means now we're going to take, uh, once we've isolated y, we are going to take this from equation 2 and plug it into equation 1. And this is usually the little sign for substitution. We are going to take equation 2 and we are going to plug it into E1 wherever we see y. Well, where do we see y? Right here. We are basically going to take this 2x minus 1 and replace it in this equation. In other words, now it's going to be 3x plus y, but that y is replaced with 2x minus 1, because we're saying y is 2x minus 1. Once we have uh, substituted, now our next step is to solve. In other words, we're going to solve this equation for its lone variable x. Here, fairly simple. We're going to combine like terms. Add 1 to both sides and divide by 5. We get x is negative 1. That represents our x value of our solution, our point of intersection. Our last step is to solve. So here we solve for x. Now we need to solve for y. What we're going to do is we're going to plug it right back into equation 2. In other words, this x equals negative 1, we are now going to substitute back into here into equation 2, the other equation. Once we do that, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, y equals negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3, and it gives us our other coordinate. If you want to check that, you could go ahead and plug this into both of these equations and you would find that it would solve both of these Therefore, this point is the solution to this system. Let's try another one. Okay. Again, I've set it up here. Remember, the solution is a point. And why don't you give this one a try? Okay. Um, our first step here is going to isolate a variable. Now, as I look here, obviously the one I want to isolate is this y. It'll be fairly easy to do. So what I'm going to do is subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, getting y alone. Now that I have y alone, it's isolated, I'm ready for my next step. I'm going to substitute. I'm going to take this, and I am going to substitute it into the equation 2 wherever I see y, which I see y right here. So this notation says I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to substitute it into equation 2. So equation 2 would look like 4x minus 3 times y, and this is now our y that we, as hopefully you see, we're plugging in here. Okay, so now we go ahead and solve for our lone variable. So we isolated, we substituted, our next step now is to solve. We're going to solve for x. We'll do that by distributing the negative 3, combining like terms, Add 39 to both sides and divide by 10. We get x is 5. That's one of our coordinates. Now our last step is to solve for the other variable. We have solved for x. Now let's solve for y. 
I can plug it into either one of these, but look how easy it'll be to plug it right into here. If I plug in x equals 5 into this, it'll be negative 2 times 5, which is a negative 10 plus 13. Solving for y, we have y equals 3, and that becomes our y coordinate for the solution of the system. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, solve this system. Okay, our first step is to isolate, and hopefully you guys realize that x would be the easiest to isolate. So I'm going to go ahead and just add 2y to both sides, and I've um, isolated x. And now I'm going to take wherever I see x in the other equation, I'm going to plug that in. I see x right here. So basically I'm taking equation 1 and plugging it into equation 2. So here I have 2 times x, which now this is my x. I am substituting it into there, along with the rest of this equation, minus 3y equals 7, and going to solve for my loaned variable y. We'll distribute the 2, combine like terms, subtract 12, I have y equals negative 5. I now have my y coordinate, and I'm done with step 3. I've solved, and I want to solve for the other variable. I want to figure out what x is, and we're saying right here x is this, so I'm now going to plug it into my equation 1. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus 6 is negative 4. Given our solution of negative 4, negative 5. Okay. Let's try this one. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, hopefully I, um, you saw the easiest thing to isolate is this y, at least that's the way I look at it. So I'm just going to add 3x to both sides and I have y alone. I'm now going to substitute that y, because we're saying y is this, we're just going to substitute it right into here. So it's equation 1 into equation 2. I have 5x plus 2 times y, my y is now 3x plus 5 equals 21. Notice I just have one variable that we can solve for. I'm going to distribute my 2, combine like terms, subtract 10 from both sides and divide by 11. I have my x-coordinate of 1. I'm now going to solve for my other variable. I can plug it back into any one of these equations, and I'll, I'll use this one. I plug it into here. y equals 3 times 1 plus 5. 3 plus 5, so y equals 8. Okay, remember, this is the solution to our system. If you follow the steps on all of our, uh, on all the problems, it should be uh, uh, fairly simple to, uh, to come up with the answer. So please do these four problems for class tomorrow. We'll go over all four of those problems um, in class. So um, good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow.